early 20th century, Gregory Voronoi, a Russian mathematician, tackled a problem that has stumped mathematicians for centuries. How do we divide up space based on the distance between points? Voronoi's solution was a diagram that used the distance between points to create regions of influence, generating a series of polygonal cells that partitioned the space around each point. This diagram, known as the Voronoi diagram, has practical applications across many fields, including art, astronomy, physics, and data analysis. However, their usefulness extends far beyond that. As you've probably guessed, Voronoi diagrams are a powerful tool in video game creation. And today, we're going to learn precisely what makes this little diagram so powerful. Welcome to the next episode of Stylized Station. So what exactly is Voronoi noise? Well, this pattern can be seen in a wide variety of natural phenomena, such as the cracking of mud, the arrangement of cells in tissues, the distribution of mineral veins in rocks, and the pattern of fur on some animals, like the giraffe, for example. That's Voronoi noise. The Voronoi pattern can be seen in nature because it's a natural consequence of specific physical and biological processes. But this is stylized station, and we're not here for a nature documentary, so how does this work? Scientifically and mathematically, Voronoi noise is created by randomly sprinkling seed points across a space. Then, each point in that space gets assigned to the closest seed point. This process creates distinct regions or cells around each seed point with the boundaries equidistant from two or more seed points. The result is a unique pattern that resembles a network of irregular organic shapes, which we call Voronoi noise. This type of noise function has become particularly popular due to its ability to mimic natural phenomena and blend with other types of noise functions, such as Perlin and simplex noise to create more complex patterns. In simple terms, Voronoi noise is a powerful in-game design because it helps solve the problem of creating random and diverse content in a game world. Game designers use Voronoi noise to create unique elements without having to create each one by hand. Terrain generation is one of the most common applications of Voronoi in video games. Using Voronoi noise, game developers can create realistic landscapes with varying elevations, valleys, and mountain ranges. For example, imagine you are a small indie studio trying to create a diverse landscape for your upcoming game. Your team is too small to create each element by hand, so you turn to Voronoi noise. By generating a Voronoi diagram, your team can create a range of unique terrain features such as jagged peaks, rolling hills, and meandering rivers. But it gets even cooler than that. Game developers can generate intricate biomes and ecosystems that feel organic and immersive by combining Voronoi noise with other noise functions and blending techniques. Developers can then use the Voronoi diagram to create different types of content for the game world, such as defining the shape and size of terrain features. Some popular games that use Voronoi noise for terrain generation include Minecraft and No Man's Sky, which generate vast and diverse terrains for players to explore procedurally. Skyrim also utilizes Voronoi noise to create realistic terrain and rock formations, which help create a rich and believable environment for players to explore. Let's talk about textures for a second. One of the key benefits of using Voronoi for creating textures and materials is the natural and organic appearance that it can produce, like we talked about earlier. The patterns created by Voronoi mimic how natural materials form and interact in the real world, leading to textures that look and feel really authentic. The noise function's unique patterns can produce intricate, natural-looking textures for various surfaces such as rocks, lava, bark, scales, and even water. One of the significant advantages of using Voronoi noise for textures is that they are procedural. If you don't know what that means, it just means that the textures are not pre-made images, but they're actually generated algorithmically based on rules and parameters, aka math. Procedural textures are highly flexible and can be changed on the fly, allowing developers to tweak and adjust the textures to their liking without creating new assets from scratch every single time. But it gets even crazier than that. Voronoi has much wider reaching implications than just textures and landscapes, and can be even used to create things like water VFX, influence character AI decisions like pathing, and can be even used to light entire worlds. So yeah, Voronoi is pretty cool.
But wait, there's still something we're missing. Until now, we've assumed that Voronoi can only exist as a 2D texture. But as some of you may already know, this isn't exactly true. Voronoi can be extended into 3D space, creating a 3D Voronoi diagram. And this is where things get really interesting. If we take this 3D Voronoi pattern and intersect it with any 3D mesh, we can slice our 3D model into smaller segments in an infinite amount of patterns, opening up a whole new world of possibilities. Now, all we have to do is add a little physics to our mesh and we can explode it into tiny fragments, meaning we can now blow up anything we want all in real time. Now, are you thinking what I'm thinking? So what if we take the ability to organically fracture any mesh using Voronoi, add some simple physics, and then add some particle VFX, maybe we'd get something like this. You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never like those. She saw the stone, you know how that go. Fatality, my diamonds that cold. Versace trunks, I hit my backstroke. Knock on the door. She at the back, bro. All it really take is a little taste. Allen girl, blue eyes with a little bass. Here for the thrill, I don't need a chase, sir. Wanna vibe it to get away. Shimmy, shimmy, y'all got the semi four way. Don't step out the line like this, a probate. You hit the line and tried to locate. This for the time, got time for no day. One, too many, I'm going. Two, too crazy, and I got bad ones, and they ready. A good time, so now it's in new it. We left the hash. Can't remember anything, but I know we got late. But that is going to have to be another video. So, yeah, Voronoi is pretty cool. Good times. Living the moment feel like summertime